Back on the pregame show, Mike Antonellis on the pregame show on the U.S. Cellular Sea Dogs Radio Network and at SeaDogs.com, joined by Matt Spring. Uh, Matt, to the rescue twice in this homestand. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm just glad that I can be the one to contribute. You know, the team's playing good, you know, so we're just rolling right now. Saturday was a fun game to watch. Uh, Jeff Walters had not blown a save, gave up two hits, but then he came back. A close walk, and then you got the one uh, zero fastball that was right in your wheelhouse. Yeah, you know, uh, he uh, he had just walked Wilkerson the time before, you know, and he, you know he's had great numbers all year. I'm sure that I'm sure that that was going through his head, you know, uh, as as he the plot kind of thickened. But um, when he went when he went one zero to me, you know, I was just like, oh well, I'm assuming I'm going to get a fastball here and try to put a good swing on. It was a walk off grand slam and hit the sicko sign above the main monster. Uh, kids dream about doing things like that and especially in this park it's got to be special because it's the wall you hit the sicko sign there's a lot to it yeah absolutely yeah um, you know a lot of definitely uh, kids grow up to be the red red sox fans want to hit the sicko sign but you know i that's what you play your whole life for is to you know be able to come up in a situation and and make an impact in the game tuesday night the sea dogs are trailing again you get a basis clearing double off the wall what was that uh, at bat like for you in that situation there uh you know brummett has you know throws all four pitches for strikes um i was able to kind of get ahead in the count um got a fastball was a little late on it um you know he threw a good slider down the way that i was able to not offer at and um, then the three two pitches a fastball a little bit down but i was able to put a good swing on it matt spring joining us here portland catcher he's been dh'ing as well now matt you haven't played every day i mean it can't be easy to get in, get in there and get at bats. But you know, I know you're an older guy, but uh, you look very comfortable in the batter's box in the time you get a chance to play. Yeah, you know, uh, Getty and I have a good routine. You know, in between starts, and uh, you know, I just whenever I'm in there, I just want to make a contribution. You know, Christian's doing a great job too. So, um, you know, as a as a core uh, catching core, I think we're doing a pretty good job. You got good numbers though this month. It's been a monster May for you. Yeah, absolutely. I just you know trying to ride it out and have fun. All right, let's talk a little bit about pitching, catching that knuckleball. Charlie Hager here. I, I know it's so hard. You talk about how that thing slides. It's, it's such a difficult thing, but just explain how you guys have to go approach catching that knuckleball. Um, basically being as relaxed as possible. You can't, uh, you know, if you miss one, you, you, you can't worry about it because you're going to miss them. You know, the best guys in the big leagues, um, the best guys forever. I mean, Mirabelle used to miss them. Yeah. And uh, so it's, it's not, getting, you know, not getting down on yourself, but also just trying to be as relaxed as possible, let the ball get as close to you as you can, and, and try to put a glow on it. But muscle memory doesn't say to do that, right? You used to put yeah, in forward, yeah. yeah. You know, they teach us to go get the ball and show it to the umpire and, um, you know, present the ball out front. And, and then you have to do the complete opposite of that and, and be as soft as possible. So it's, you know, it's definitely a, a, big, uh, a big change. And, you know, I think that Christian and I have both done a good job. And how about when a conventional pitcher come in? Is that no big deal after a while adjusting? Uh, you know, the first couple of pitches, um, and the two times that uh, I've had Charlie this year, I think the next pitcher was Chris Martin. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, you go from uh, 74, 64 to 95, 97. Um, but, you know, that's, you know, we do that all the time. That's, you know, that's part of our job description. So, uh, but uh, it's, just, it's just fun, and you just, you're kind of happy when the other guy gets in. Portland catcher Matt Spring joining us at the pregame show on SeaDogs.com. You can watch this as well. You've been in the Tampa Bay Farm system. Now you're in the Boston uh, system here. I mean, it's really been uh, amazing what they've done, the race. Even though we're in the same division, it's it's still fun to admire their success. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they've come a long way, especially from uh, when I started there. And, um, you know, I think Joe Madden's done a great job for them. Um, obviously, Andrew Friedman's done a great job as GM. And, you know, they got a good thing going over there. You know, I, was, I enjoyed my time there. I definitely enjoy, uh, you know, being here at the Red Sox and, and uh, continued success here. You spent a lot of time there, and you've seen a lot of great ones. I know you play with Longoria. You've been with Price. You've been with uh, some guys that are impacting the big league club. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, half that team was, you know, guys that are on my double-A and triple-A and A-ball teams, you know, so it's it's fun to watch them have success. Some of the other guys, you know, Shields and Davis and Jaso have moved on, but, you know, they're all contributing for their team too. All right, we're going to let people inside the clubhouse just a little bit to tell you about Matt. Your, your good job is, is kind of uh, keeping everyone loose. I mean, you're a great clubhouse guy. I've heard people say that's overrated. I don't believe in it at all, and you can be living proof to it. Uh, you know, I just, uh, I'm just myself. You know, I, I kind of have an outgoing personality. Probably talk a little bit too much for my own good, but uh, you know, that's just, that's just who I am. And um, we got a great group of guys. It's so fun coming to the field every day. Um, you know, we, our coaching staff's fantastic. 
you know, the, the rovers that come in, they're great too. You know, there's no, there's no pins and needles. There's no eggshells in there. We're all trying to do the same thing, go out and win ball games, and we just want to have fun. But would you agree with you guys spend so much time than any of the other professional sport that relationships are important? Oh, 100%. You know, having a good clubhouse and, and wanting to come to the field every day makes 142 games in 152 days bearable. So Daniel Bard has come a long way. I mean, he's been the best reliever in all of baseball. He's had a tough time here, but, you know, the thing I admire about him is he's still a tremendous teammate. Oh, he's fantastic. Um, hasn't have, hasn't once been a bad teammate. Hasn't, you know, uh, quote unquote, big leagued anybody. Yeah. You know, he's here getting his work in. Great teammate, great guy. Um, you know, obviously we we hope to see him uh, and all of us get up to Boston soon. I mean, these things happen. I think uh, there's history of this happening to other guys before. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and and it's just something he's battled through. He's he's never he's never wavered with his confidence, and you know, he's he's uh, on the right track. All right, I can make him light up easily. Your wife and your son. I know when you uh, say it's easy, but uh, congrats. Six months, right? Yeah, six months the other day. Um, he's he's close to crawling. Uh, he's rolling over like a madman right now, but they're coming up here in a couple of weeks. It's going to be uh, great to see him. I appreciate the time, and uh, we're happy to have you here. Anytime. Thanks, Mike. All right. Appreciate it. Portland catcher Matt Springer on the pregame show and SeaDogs.com. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a drive, deep to left, way back, and this one is gone! Home run! Walk off Brady for spring, and we're going home happy at headlock. What a shot by Max. It plucked the Sicko sign, and Matt hits a granny to win it. The Sea Dogs walk off with a 10-7 win.